Okay, how often do you find yourself retyping information? In this example, in this tip, I'm going to show you how to avoid having to copy and paste or retype information. What you're going to use is a feature called Quick Parts. Since Word is the default editor for Outlook, you can very easily use Quick Parts to avoid retyping. Let me give you an example. Let's say you always find yourself giving directions to the office. Go ahead and type in that information as you would have it. And in my case, I just pasted it. Now, go to the Insert tab, go to the Text Group, and click Quick Parts. When you do that, you want to save selection to the Quick Part Gallery and give it a name. After you do that, leave everything as it is for right now and say OK. This is now in the gallery, so let's pretend it's later, maybe a week or whenever we need to type it again. Instead of having to retype that information, go to the Insert tab, go to Quick Parts, and you can see directions to InMotion Smyrna right there. Click it, and it's in your email. Very nice feature of Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word. And just a quick note, you can't modify a quick part, but of course you can always find it and you can edit it and resave it. I'm going to right click on this because I want to show you another thing that you can do, another set of options. You can actually insert it in different places. You can organize. Let's just click on that. And now you can see there's edit properties. You can give it different names. You can just decide to delete it. And some other options here. As you can see, you've got a preview of what you've got in the box. I'll close this out. And just as a side note, you can use Quick Parts for anything. Let's say I want to use my logo. So let's insert. And I'm going to find my logo. Let's use picture. And I'm going to find the logo. So you can see that even a picture can be used for Quick Part. There we go. And now if I want to use that logo as a Quick Part, I'll go to Insert, Quick Parts. And since the logo is selected, I'll save that to my Quick Part Gallery. and say OK. And later on, I'm using my Control N picture, Control N feature. When I want to insert the logo, I'll hit Insert tab, Quick Parts, go down, and as you can see, the logo is right there to be inserted. I hope this tip helps. Thanks for watching.